So if you're looking for a portable tool storage unit or just something around the shop, I think you'd want to stick around for this. Even if you're in a different system, they get so many cool things on this that they added. This is the Wave 2 Flex stack pack system. And I'll tell you what, really impressed with not only the quality of this thing, but just all of the features that they're adding to it. But why don't we unstack the pack and I'll show you what you're able to purchase now. And really cool. So the first one up on the top right here and super easy to do. You just take this, slide that down, and pop it right off the top like so. So what I'll do here is I'll just take this one and I'll sort of put this up on top. And yes, it attaches to the first system. You don't have to worry about it. Everything's interchangeable. But this right here is your new worktop. Now it's made out of the woodage. I can write over here. I can put my pencils, my pens, all that good stuff right off on top. Here's the nice thing about this. If this gets damaged, I can simply remove this. Boom, boom. Such an easy system setup. Take that off. There's a couple bolts in the back. And now here's what's nice. You got a couple bolts on the back right here. If that piece of woodage gets ruined, you could take that off, put a new piece on simply by cutting it out, putting it on, and then screwing it back down in. You don't have to worry about going out and buying a brand new piece. So that's your first piece right here. Now your second piece is the crate, and the crate is great. So let me show you this real quick. Now there's something you can do that's really cool with this, and I'll show you that here in a bit. But this is your inside, very, very heavy duty. It's so heavy duty, in fact. Well, I'm 245 pounds. I'm a man. And you can see I'm not standing off to the side. I'm standing right in the middle. If I wanted to stand off to the side, I could do that. But I'm standing right in the middle. I want all my weight down there in the middle. It ain't going nowhere. Super strong. So this is like your new portable pouch. You can put your screwdrivers, your electrical tools, whatever, your plumbing tools, whatever you need in there. You can also open that up. Hide your money in there. Heavy duty Velcro up on the top so you can close that down. You can attach this inside the box if you wanted to with this button right here. You can hang it. If you wanted to right there or right there, you got two different clips. So I really like that. Let me show you what else I got. Now, as I'm taking this stuff off, I want to talk to you. A lot of people, I can tell you straight out right now. I already got it on the TikTok videos. I got it on the YouTube shorts. It looks just like pack out. It's a rip off of pack out. If that's the case, good. You want competition. Anybody that comes out with the box, you want competition, especially a good built quality box. So who cares? That's like saying Ford made a truck, so Chevy shouldn't have made a truck. Dodge shouldn't make a truck. Well, guess what's going to happen to the truck prices when Ford's the only one that's making them? Yeah, you got it. Now you got your new compact case. And by the way, I'll put everything in the link in the description below. You can check this stuff out. All of these sliders remove. All of them. So the smaller ones, the bigger ones, pretty real nice like indeed. If you wanted to section this off, it's as easy as that to do it. But what's nice about these things are they are built extremely heavy duty. They're thick pieces of mamma jamma right there. It's not that real thin, flappy stuff. It's it's good, great quality stuff. So really happy to see that and throw that down in there like so. Now this box is another one of my favorites and I can't wait to show you that. But before I do, let me show you something else that's really, really cool. So even on the first wave, you can see right here, that's where your lock would go. So you would open up this, you know, you put your stuff in here, blah, 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 blah. You don't want to worry about people stealing your stuff. Well, you would lock this down and then throw the lock right in the two holes right here. They definitely changed that system though. Check this out. Every one of these boxes right here, right here, right here. Watch this. I'm gonna take this out. Boom. So now you got this metal lock bar. Again, every one of those boxes is gonna have it. And now here's how this works. You got some extra security. <laughs> you put that down. This has to be facing out. You put that like so, boom. Now you put your lock right up on top. You see that sweet, sweet hole right there? Yeah, so now it's blocking that door from being open. So now if somebody tries to get into this, ah. Uh -uh. So that's very real nice. Like, let me take this out and I'll show you what this box does. So check this out, love it. Push this up and these latches, by the way, very, very nice indeed. Just push that out, push it in, boom. Look at this. Now we got another piece hiding inside right here. Now, before I show you that portable toolbox, I really like to throw your circular saws in there, your drills, whatever else you're putting in there. Now, I really do like this. This is a, like a soft box, toolbox. You got your front pouches up here. On the inside, you know, you got all your screwdrivers, put whatever tool you want in here, your pliers, whatever. Then you got pouches in there and here and here on both sides. You got a larger pouch right here. Now, if you wanted to, you don't have to carry this by the handle. You can take this. I don't really use it. I like the handle, but it's a strap for your shoulder. Now, what's nice about this thing here is that you can adjust that pad if you wanted to. You can make it longer, shorter. And you got your two carabiners. The one goes on this side, the other goes on this side right here. And now I can throw this over my shoulder if I wanted to. How you doing? 
Got more pockets up on the side right here, all Velcro. Again, this thing is really super heavy duty built. You can hang things off the side, whatever you want on here. On this side here, got another zipper pouch. You can put stuff in there if you wanted to. So really, really like this. And then again, up on the front, got this here. And if you wanted to attach this to something, let it hang or whatever, you could do that as well with these right there. All right, so let me take this one off. And it's so easy to do. You just clip those two things on the side, pull it out. You put it on the next one, it just goes right in. They ain't going nowhere. Really do like that they're all interchangeable, obviously. So the next box down, again, has the same security system. You put this like so, throw that in if you wanted to. All the larger boxes have it. Shut this down. That, my friends, I, I think that's, you know, real nice like. But you got a smaller drawer up on top, larger drawer on the bottom. On the inside, this will come with you know, a little portable tool. So you get your screwdriver in there, you got some screws, bolts, whatever, you could take that out, bring that with you. And then right here, you got three drawers. So again, you have your different honeycomb type of deal where you can remove those, you know, your dividers, your sectionals, whatever you want to call it. All right here, same thing. And then drawer three, same thing. All right, let me show you something. Another thing that's really cool. I'm going to remove this box right here simply by boom, boom, take it off. Now, this is something I wish they would have had when I was doing body work. I used to work on a car, and then if I needed a tool, I had to go back to the toolbox, grab it, come back. It, it was a pain, but this, I got casters, I can move around. If I needed something, I can open this up. How am I able to do this, you ask? Well, if I were to remove this, simply by going like that, like that, take this off, now you got the new caster system. Check that out. So on the bottom here, you got four casters, two of them lock. I should have put this one over on that side, but either or, I, I'm just showing you. It's easy to take out, put them back on, you just boom, pull them right in. But you can lock this so your tool tote doesn't move or you don't move if you're surfing on the bad boy. But again, it is extremely heavy duty, a great build on this. So that's another awesome piece that I absolutely love, but there's even more. All right, so let me show you this. This is probably one of my favorite, if not the favorite piece out of this entire setup. Looks weird, it looks like it goes on top of your tote, but it doesn't. Your tote actually goes on top of this. We're, okay, look, watch this. So this is gonna come with a couple brackets. See the bracket? Now you don't get one, you actually end up getting two of these things. But what do they do? Well, very simple. This is actually gonna go up on your wall, your studs, right? So see how this opens up? So you can see this locks into place. And if I push this down, I can lower it. And then I wanna do it again, I just up into place. You see, it ain't going nowhere. Now again, I haven't set these up, but I'm going to, and I'll do another video on it. But you do this to both of them, right? So if I was the wall, you would see that I would be attached to the wall. And on the inside here, you're gonna get a couple bolts. They're gonna go down like so. And you basically attach this to this right here. And now this is hanging on your wall like so with those brackets. If I wanted to, I could collapse them and they would actually close. So you're not gonna bang your head on this thing. And if I wanted to, I can attach things to this. So for example, say the crate, say I wanted that crate up on the wall. I wanted to put some parts up there. Well, it's very simple to do. It just locks down inside like that. And now I have a hanger on the wall for my crate. And you can use basically anything, anything that you can clamp on top of the stack pack. Well, you can clamp on top of this as well. That's how easy it is to do it. It's already locked in. Oh, hey, that's real nice. But you see my friends, there's even more. And well, let me show you this. This is really cool. Talk about the crate or another box. So now comes the really real nice life part. This is the first wave. This is your rolling tote box. Got the handle on here. Let me show you this. Well, you can buy this, not this right here. I already showed you this, but this bracket right here, I'm going to show you how to set this up. This is the coolest feature, I think, on this box. So if you were to buy this kit, this bracket, right, you're going to get two of these and you're going to get a few of these. So if you remember on the original right here, the box, you have these brackets here and they, they're basically built into the box. And what's cool about this here, you can attach the different accessories. So if you have a level, you know, hanger, a cord wrap, all that good stuff, well, you can put them here. But this is where these are going to go. You're going to put that bolt. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. And they're going to bolt right onto this right here. And just so you know, it's super easy to do. You can get in here, no issue. You're going to have to use an Allen wrench. I believe this is a 3 16 And as mentioned, you got the second one that goes in right here. So you tighten that one down, tighten this one down on the top. Make sure they're pretty freaking snug so they don't go anywhere. Make sure this one's done. So this is the first one. You're going to add your second one on this side. Yep, so this is the second one. 
we attached the same way as the last one. Just make sure it's nice and snug. So now that I got this on, let's grab the crate and I'll use it for an example. But wait until I tell you what else you could do with this. It's gonna blow your freaking mind. All right, so this is the back side of the crate. You don't wanna do this to the front, you want the back side. And these are gonna go on there like so. And the bolts, they will come with this. So I'm going to add one here and one here. Do you sort of see where we're going with this? So I'll take this and make it easier on myself. I'm just gonna put that in like so and then get my Allen wrench ready. And then we'll just tighten that in like that right there. And just snug it down you're going to put another one on this side and then two more on the other side just like we're doing here now you want to pay attention to these holes here because you can do other stuff with that but let me put this other one on now you're going to do the same thing you want that flex logo out on the side here you want these two bolt holes right there sticking out like that so you can do what we're going to do here in a bit but we'll just add these so now we got two on this side we got two on this side and you can get these brackets right here you can see these got some screw holes there and the way these would go is, I don't know if I'm gonna put these on. I might put them on here. It's gonna go like this. So you're gonna take your, your bolt, go down through here. Just so you know, we're on the other side. We're doing the exact same thing here. Tighten that one down. Tighten this one down. Now just bear with me, but basically all these right here, these brackets do is if you have already have your level holder, well, you could just add this back on top like so. So now all I'm doing is attaching that second piece here. And that's all those brackets are for is to reattach what you already had on the system before you bought the bracket. So, all right, so those are attached again. This is your level holder. You put your level in there, but watch what this thing does. So now we got this set up. We're gonna take the crate. Now we got those brackets on the back, right? Yeah. Watch this. We're gonna put this on just like so, and it locks in. So now if you don't know what I just did, check that out right there. Uh. Now I got my crate on the front. I'm able to move this around. I got my bigger tools or whatever. I got my parts in there. I don't have to worry about putting them in a the box. I got this moving around with me, but you can do more than that. You see, this is the larger drawer box. And if I wanted to, I could have put the brackets on the back of this one. And I could have stacked these up as high as I wanted to right here. And then put a second unit out in front and wheel two units at the same time. Or because the crate has two latching systems as well. Like this said, I'll do one more. Look how easy these are to clamp in. I can keep packing on top of this one or this one and look at this. Look at freaking that right there. It's real nice like. I'll be honest with you. I just think that's awesome. I think it's again real nice. There's nothing better than real nice like. This is real nice like times two. It's like infinity real nice like. I think what Flex was able to do with these boss is just amazing. I, I, I love this system. And if you haven't tried it yet, at least think about it or go check them out. Go to Lowe's, Acme, Ohio Power Tool, whatever. Get your hands on one of these things. You're able to customize and they have even more stuff coming out. I guarantee they have even more things coming out. You know, with the creeper style, with the casters on here, you're able to roll your stuff around. You know, you got your shelves over here. You're able to hang these up on a wall and then put your attachments on there. It's awesome. You know what, while I'm here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna attach my, my work area, my work table. That's how easy it is to attach this stuff. And you just, you know, pop it out, you go boom, boom, and lift it right off. And the other thing that's really cool about this is if I wanted my drawers out this way, I can face them out this way, I can turn my other packs, turn them that way. And if I had more drawers, I, I wouldn't have to remove this, take it off, and then try to get in between. I think you're picking up what I'm putting down. But of course, I want to know what you think. Leave me a sweet, sweet comment in that comment section below. Do you like this? Do you not like this? I'm curious. What is your feedback other than it's a Milwaukee ripoff? Listen, Milwaukee, Klein, Rigid, Ryobi, they all have boxes. It's a good thing. But what's nice about the Flex Stack Pack is that they're going above and beyond and just really beefing this stuff up, making it very solid, very heavy duty. And the attachments, the accessories are really, really cool. Also, if this video has helped you. Please don't forget to smash that like button. If you want to see the first version of this, well, check that video right there. Back with more videos soon.